series of videos that I'm going to be using to create a teardrop trailer. It's going to be the Grumman 2. Uh, and then this one will be making the profile. We'll start by deleting this person. Uh, go up here, square up the axis. Then we'll drag it down to where I can see it. And then I like to use guidelines. I think that's the best. We'll come up uh, about there. It doesn't really matter to begin with. But anyway, this is a 4 foot by 10 foot. So we'll space it up 48 inches. Come over here. And then we'll put a guideline over 120 inches. So that's my 4 by 10 guide. Um, I'll use the square here. I'll draw my square. That creates the solid surface. So I'll go ahead and I don't like to use these uh, darker lines, so I'll get rid of the profiles. To get rid of these axes, you go up to Style here. I click on Style under Window, Edit, and then you click on Extensions and Endpoints to get rid of those. And there you go. And then we'll go ahead and zoom in to get it right up to size. And then we'll start out. We'll lay out the guidelines for the the curve sections. Uh, this we'll do the back one. It's up 11 inches. And then we'll come back. It's 63 inches from the front. Then we'll start with the circle. And the uh, circle only has 21 uh, sides to begin with by default. So if you enter 100 S, enter that'll give you a circle that has 100 segments. So your lines will be smoother, the lines coming around here. Okay, so then what we need to do is draw a short line to dissect the circle. And then we'll go ahead and erase the parts of the circle that we don't need. And then we use the scaling tool. Hover over it, click on it, and then we drag it to the outside. Okay, that creates that. And then we'll go ahead and put in the guidelines for the front part. That is up 22 inches. From the, and then it's from the back towards the front, it is 78 inches. And I'm just hitting 78 and then enter, that's how you do that. And then we draw the circle from there up. Again, draw my line, there back. And uh, then we'll go ahead and erase that part, this part, this part. And then we'll scale it and drag it out to the front. And we're there. So this front part, the bottom front, is a 30-inch radius from the front back. So again, we'll grab the circle, click here, out towards the front. And then again, we'll erase the parts we don't need. Right here and here. OK, now this uh, bottom part. The back bottom, again, is a 30-inch radius. Oh, I just deleted that line. It's 11 inches up, and then back 30 inches from the back. And again, we'll just draw a circle right there. We'll click there, come to the back, and then we'll delete the parts we don't need. Okay, and then right now we can go ahead and click or delete the outside parts here. We're done with these. And to delete the guidelines, you can delete them all if you want, individually like this, or you can click and hold and delete them all. Or you can go up here to edit and delete guides. Now that will delete all the guides that are on the layer that you're working with. Okay, so we'll stop there, and on the next video, I'll start filling in the profile.